Hello, my name is Jordan Anderson, and I'm the Assistant Site Manager here at San Felipe de Austin State Historic Site. And today we are beginning our Impresario Educational Series, where we will be releasing videos as well as a lesson plan, which has activities and primary documents to give you a better idea of the role of an impresario. And today we will begin with what is an impresario. To begin this story, we're going to start with Moses Austin. Moses Austin had operated a series of lead mines in Virginia and Spanish Missouri. However, these lead mines failed, so he was looking for a new financial opportunity. So he would travel to Spanish Texas with the idea of bringing colonists to the area. He would present this idea to the Spanish governor at San Antonio de Bejar and then return home. While he was home, he would receive permission from the Spanish government to settle 300 families here. And he was beginning the early stages of uh, attracting colonists and organizing a colony. However, in 1821, a wrench was thrown into that plan. First off, Moses Austin passed away. His son Stephen F. Austin would take on his contract and bring his first colonists to Spanish Texas just to discover that Spain was no longer in control. Mexico declared its independence in 1821. So he now had an impresario contract with a government who was no longer in power. Stephen F. Austin traveled to Mexico City to seek permission to continue his father's work. He received this permission in 1823. After returning home, Mexico would finalize its colonization laws, which defined the role of an impresario would set how much land a colonist could receive and what sort of colonists they were looking for. Stephen F. Austin described his role of an impresario as an agent who was hired by the government to introduce a certain number of families of a certain description within a certain time limit who are to be settled within a certain designated limit. In short, an impresario is a land agent who is contracted by the government to attract and settle colonists in a colony and to work with surveyors to issue those colonists land titles. Stephen F. Austin was not the only impresario. Others would follow in his footsteps. Stephen F. Austin would fill his first contract for 300 families in 1825. He would apply for even more contracts. In total, Stephen F. Austin settled 1,200 families in Mexican Texas. As we move forward, we will cover the other aspects of an impresario in greater depth. We hope you enjoyed today's video. In the description of the video, we have a link to the educational packet for you all to go through. It is free for anybody to use, and we hope you enjoy it. Thank you for watching. Join us next time.